I think the culture in general is like people here are very like they're very respectful of their faith. Mm -hmm. um, they're very outgoing. They're very party going. Like people mm -hmm. always want to have fun here. They're relaxed. They're chilled. They'll welcome you at every single door you go through. <laughs> Welcome back to Filipino Wonder channel and on this video I was going to introduce you this handsome British guy beside oh. me and I will now let him uh, introduce himself. So I am Matt. Um, I have just recently uh, moved over to the Philippines. Um, I live here now. Um, for quite a long term and I also have my own channel which is called Backpackzilla mm -hmm. which hopefully and can put in the corner to make it useful for everybody to get to. Yes. Uh, so yeah, uh, I've recently moved over since uh, August. Since August? Yes. So wow, that's quite impressive. So like, are you planning to live more uh, months here in the Philippines? Um, hopefully so, like if everything uh, goes well then I'll probably plan to be here like at least like maybe another four or six months um, mm -hmm. potentially, it just depends how things develop mm -hmm. so my plan at the start is probably not the same as my plan now mm -hmm. so hopefully that will be like sorted out but yeah so is this your first time visiting here in the Philippines? Uh, no, so I was here in sort of March, April time. Mm -hmm. um, that's the first time I came here. Mm -hmm. And we went to uh, a few of the islands. Um, as you can see on the, uh, the channel now, I'm producing, mm -hmm. we're producing content from, mm -hmm. from when we went to the Philippines. Wow. So. so like how, you know, how you decide to move here in the Philippines and leave here like for mini months? Um, so I think in general, it was the, the people are really kind. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's kind of like more laid back, even though it's kind of like um, seeing sort of Filipinos mm -hmm. on like a daily basis and the struggles they have to deal with. Everybody still has a smile. Everybody's still like uh, excited to see you, welcoming you, really kind and like, like super friendly. Uh, mm -hmm. Even though like they have probably way more struggles than you know maybe some Western mm -hmm. countries. Um, even though like everybody has their own struggles, it's still nice to see uh, like a group of people just sort of like band together and like give so much back to people coming and visit in their country. So it just feels warm and welcoming, and it, it feels like a home. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm, yeah. So like, is it a biggest culture uh, culture shock with you when you move here in the Philippines? Mm -hmm. Since you know it's quite different from your country. I think within regards to like Western countries, I think the Philippines is the most similar of the of the Asian countries. I think it's the most similar to Western countries, obviously because of the influences from America. Mm -hmm. Um, so you do have like the influences obviously with sport, with some food, obviously not Filipino food, but food influences over here. And obviously the, um, the language, obviously you guys speak incredible English, so it's very, very easy to, um, to meet new people, to talk to people on a daily basis. So having that there additionally makes it so much easier and like less of a culture shock mm -hmm. than for example, uh, Vietnam or Thailand mm -hmm. where you know the especially with Thailand the people are kind and they're welcoming and it's a beautiful place it's just the language barrier um, mm -hmm. can be a little bit different um, so that's just I'd say that the, there's less of a culture shock because it's probably the most similar to Western countries without necessarily being one it's just got uh, I guess I guess the right amount of influence mm -hmm. I would say so have you been to um, visit some of the other Asian countries? Uh, so we, uh, myself and my friend that I travel with, Aaron, mm -hmm. um, we have been to Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And we've also been to like a scattering of European countries as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say the differences here are quite quite obvious as mm -hmm. to why why like I sort of prefer mm -hmm. prefer the Philippines. I did really like 
Thailand as well mm -hmm. um, and we have discussed sort of moving there long term because mm -hmm. um, it just has sort of something about it I think the food is just incredible the people are really nice mm -hmm. so you can tell the way to my heart is like being friendly and yeah, yeah, yeah. food my stomach so um yeah within within regards to that i think mm -hmm. like the other countries i travel to they're really really nice i think they weren't such an obvious option mm -hmm. because there's more that you have to like deal with like language and things like that mm -hmm. so you're talking about the food in Thailand is really incredible so mm -hmm. how about the food here in the philippines well, i i think my favorite um my favorite foods in the philippines have to be like lechon mm -hmm. i love lechon mm -hmm. it's the best thing of any types like probably lechon koali is probably mm -hmm. like up there at the top um i also really like sisig mm -hmm. with the uh, tuna mm -hmm and i also like adobo because if i don't say that i like adobo mm -hmm. i feel like the filipinos will just come and get me <laughs> just, yeah. i'll be rejected from the country of my next like visa extension so but yeah. no um the food is really good i think um i think it's definitely food that you have to eat alongside a lot of fruit mm -hmm. just to balance it out because yeah, it yeah. does have a lot of stuff in that can be quite um there's a lot of oils and stuff yeah, yeah, so yeah. you don't have to kind of balance it out um so definitely within I th I th i'd probably say sisig probably is my favorite because it's just incredible especially if it's done right mm -hmm. so do you think like um lechon is the best food here in the philippines I, yeah because you can get lechon sisig as well can't you mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th i think probably yeah i mean i like i'm i'm very much big on like pork mm -hmm. and the fact that like Cebu's like the place for lechon and like if you get it like in the right place it's really really good oh a special mention to like curry curry mm -hmm. as well yeah the curry curry yeah, i yeah. really really like curry curry and uh pansit if it's done well because mm -hmm. um, you guys have that around christmas right yeah the yeah. pansit the pansit yes. because when we eat pansit during events like it's said that or we believe that it will gonna help us to live longer you know because pansit's kind of long you know yeah and it has is it the bone marrow as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's gonna help give you that healthy stuff that mm -hmm. bone marrow gives you just good so um why you started your own channel like um i think so uh myself and my friend aaron mm -hmm. came up with an idea of starting the channel because we during like lockdown mm -hmm. we had like months and months of just doing nothing mm -hmm. and before lockdown it wasn't we never really thought of traveling Uh, mm -hmm. long term and mm -hmm. I think through when when we were sort of sitting there doing nothing all day because we had no other option but mm -hmm. to stay indoors and um, we were watching a lot of YouTube videos on like travel and other countries and then it sort of snowballed into this idea of creating yeah. our own channel because like I I wouldn't I wouldn't say like we're unique in what we offer but like hopefully our personalities and the way we approach different videos and the way we approach different situations can sort of give back something to to the viewers so mm -hmm. we sort of watch a lot of people's videos um a lot of youtubers that we still follow now and we thought well maybe we could give this a go <laughs> Thank you.